Alright, welcome back to Gamer Sanctuary Fresh Coast fans. Sorry it's been so long. Uh, it's been a hectic month getting prepped for Food Hammer, starting new jobs, uh, and welcoming uh, Brother Captain Jeremiah back from the, uh, the deserts of Afghanistan. Say hi. Alright, we're gonna get we're gonna get his uh, his uh, Blood Angel army on video sometime soon, hopefully before Food Hammer. If not, we'll try to work something out for then. Uh, today we got a, 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 a good treat though. We've got um, two of our regular members. We've got uh, Joe and his uh, Chaos Demon and uh, Chaos Marine Allied Force. Uh, well, uh, versus Chuck and his Imperial Guard. Uh, lots of vendettas and tanks from Chuck. So it should be uh, pretty interesting. Let's take a look at the armies. All right, here is the uh, the Chaos Army. We have Karn the Betrayer leading his squad of Berserkers. There's Karn back there. Squad of Berserkers. Uh, five Chaos Terminators, all WYSIWYG. We got a mob of cultists. Uh, we're using uh, Katakin Guard, apparently. Ten Raptors. Uh, and for the, the oh, there's a Hell Brute and a Hell Drake as well. And for the uh, and one lone Obliterator. I'm sorry, I keep missing everything back here. Uh, as far as the uh, the demon allies, we have a demon prince, a skull taker, and a squad of demonettes. So a very corn based army. Let's see what the imperial guard are bringing today. All right, we're gonna take a look at uh, Chuck's forces uh, in their deployment phase already. Uh, we've got a Lehman Rust Demolisher, grand total of one, two, three, four veteran squads with three Meltas each, all on Chimeras. Actually, this one is empty because the veterans are holding the uh, Aegis defense line right here with a Lord Commissar as their HQ. We have a pair of Layman Russes on the top of the the, uh, the the Hill of Skulls. We've got an Executioner and a Standard Russ. There's a marker there. Oh, there's a, he's kind of parked on the objective. We'll talk about the objective in a second. Uh, and then in reserve, we have one Valkyrie and one Vulture. And, oh, that's right. How can we forget him? This is uh, a... Lonely Imperial Guard model is proxy for Guardsman Marbo. So we'll see if he can do any good. I've never actually seen him used in a game, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, the mission is the, the scouring, so fast attacker scoring and give bonus points. So the uh, the gunships are going to be even more of a priority target now as, as the, the Heldrake. So we will move then into uh, turn one. All right, here we see the chaos deployment. We got the Hellbrute and uh, Karn and his Berserkers over here. And then we have the cultists. Actually, Karn is hanging out with the cultists. Looking for some, make some Yeah, very good. That's right. Uh, yep, so we have a fearless blob of cultists with Karn right here in the middle of the table. And that's actually it for deployment on the table. Everything else is deep striking, deep striking, deep striking, deep striking, deep striking, deep striking, deep striking and flying on. So we have a lot of chaos reserves to deal with. We'll see if that's uh, if, if that, uh, having that much off the table to, be, to begin with is uh, a good idea or not. We're going to move into turn one. You want to tree steal? All right, we're going to get the uh, the initiative steal on camera here. Epic dice rolling time. We've got lots of stuff on the table. Oh yeah, real quick, we'll go over through the objectives. Uh, we got one, two right here in the building, three by the woods, four, five, and then six is underneath the execution. We don't even know how many points are worth yet. All right, go ahead and roll. Oh, uh, this is a steal. This is a steal. Yep, let's yeah. go. Okay. Blood for the blood. God, then no. And a two. That doesn't no work. Blood for the blood. Yeah. All right. So we're going to move into the top of turn one. All right. Top of turn one, we see the Imperial Guard line advance and unload a lot of shots from the, uh, the Layman Russes in particular into the cultists and take out the, the first uh, row and a half, just about. Um, but they're doing their job. They're fearless thanks to Karn, and they're just soaking up some shots. So we're gonna move into the bottom of turn one now and see what Chaos can do in response. Yeah, okay, got bottom of turn one, the Hellbrute climbs up onto the hill and takes a shot at the uh, the standard rust back there, and Glancer took off a hull point. The blood, uh, blood Letters and Skull Taker uh, were trying to deep strike back there in the corner behind the Chimera, mishapped and they got placed inside the Aegis defense line. Um, the cover saves from the, uh, the defense line uh, allowed two of them to live thanks to uh, we had a couple of interceptor shots from the, uh, the auto cannon in the back. It took two of them out with the, uh, the, the extra cover save they got from there. Allowed uh, two more to live. The cultists and Karn just ran forward. And that's it. We're gonna move into turn two now and see uh, what else the uh, the guards fire can do, and we get some flyers in here. All right, top of turn two, uh, the executioner, right? That's a, yes. Yep. Uh, executioner took off a hall point from it gets hot, um, and then took out a couple of the blood letters. Uh, the uh, chimer has moved up over here. 
Uh, these the veteran squad jumped out. They're moving towards that objective. Both the flyers did come in. The uh, vendetta shot at the blood letters, and they managed to make their cover safe, so they're good. Oh, it was an invul. Okay, they're still good. And the the vulture shot its punisher cannons at the berserkers in the back and took out three of them. Uh, Marbo decided to pop himself out right there in the corner and throw his demolition charge into the middle of the berserkers, but it scattered and landed right on the uh, the hellbrute and blew off his thunderhammer arm. So now we're going to move into the bottom of turn two and see if some of these reserves can come in for chaos. All right, bottom of turn two, chaos get about half of their reserves in. Uh, the berserkers turn around and shoot Marbo to pieces. Skull Taker and his boys keep running forward. The Dreadnought uh, got extremely pissed off and uh, had to charge the, the nearest target, so he charged the Chimera, managed to do two penetrating hits, immobilized it, so any, anything disembarking out of it is going to have to disembark into the difficult terrain. Um, Karn and his uh, cultists came running into the woods, getting some more cover. Back over here, the Demon Prince came on flying. Uh, he does have wings, and he used his ranged attack to shoot the back of the Vendetta. Uh, did take off a hull point. He stunned it. Or, I'm sorry, not stunned it. He uh, glanced it, took off one hull point. The Raptors over here, deep struck in, and the two melting gun shot, one hit, and blew off the Demolisher Cannon. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. We're going to move now into turn three. Oh, what do we have? Oh, that's right. There's an obliterator over here. He came in and is just in a Twin Lake Melter Gun range and only managed to take off another hull point off the Executioner. All right, so now we're going to move into top of turn three. All Chuck's reserves are on the table. So this is it for the guard. Let's see what they can do to, to keep uh, whittling down chaos. Right, the guard return fire uh, proves to be pretty nasty this turn. The Vulture uh, came flying in from that side and unloaded on the Demon Prince, took him out. Uh, that Layman Russ, as well as the standard Russ on the hill, turned around and shot into the Raptors along with the guard there, and managed to take out only a few of them. That uh, probably should have gone better for the guard, but the, uh, the battle cannon from the Russ scattered, I think, a full nine inches completely away from everything. Uh, Cultus took some more hits from the various uh, Multi-lasers, multi lasers excuse me. Uh, back over here, Skull Taker took a wound and lost one of the other uh, blood letters from that Chimera. The Vendetta killed three of the Berserkers. And over here, the veterans jumped out and melted the uh, Dreadnought to death. Uh, a few of them died in the explosion, but um, otherwise... Oh, wait, and the, oh, the Obliterator got taken out. Yep, the Obliterator got taken out by the Executioner. All right, so we're gonna go now into uh, with this bottom of three. See if the rest of the chaos reserves can come in. We got some terminators and a hell drake. Bottom of turn three sees all the chaos reserves come in and hit very hard. Um, the hell drake. Uh, the more I look at it in person, the more I like the model. And after I see what it can do, I'm really impressed. It uh, vector strike over the the Valkyrie, and you notice there's no more Valkyrie there. Vendetta, excuse me. Uh, knocked off the last two hull points on a couple glancing hits, which is all it needed. Wrecked it, and then proceeded to torch the uh, the veteran squad with its bale flamer, and they failed the morale and are running away. Uh, back in here, Skull Taker and his uh, his uh, bloodletter buddy are or assaulted the the Chimera, blew it up. This Chimera was uh, ignored; it's still loaded with troops. The Raptors jumped behind the Russ and blew it up uh, in close combat. Terminator's deep struck over here and. Uh, the Heavy Flamer managed to, to do all the damage to the, the veteran squad there, and then they broke and ran off the table. And then Karn and his boys rolled an 11 for their assault uh, range and are now stuck in combat with the stubborn guardsmen protecting the, the defense line. The Commissar is actually not attached to the squad. He's just hanging out behind him, manning the auto cannons. But uh, that's kind of right where Karn wants to be. He issued his challenge, uh, accepted it, yep, and managed to, to get an Eternal Warrior out of the... the uh, the deal. So that's a pretty good thing for Chaos. It a, looks like a pretty good turn. Uh, we're going to go now into turn four, see if the guard can strike back. All right, top of turn four, the Imperial Guard. Uh, have a lot of fire coming in the Chaos way, but uh, it wasn't really all that effective. Uh, we lost, we see the two Terminators go down to the combined fire of both uh, Vindicator, or Vindicators. Layman Russ is up there on the hill. Uh, one of the Raptors goes down to fire from the uh, Chimer back here. That's it. And that's it. Uh, combat. Karn didn't manage to finish off. Karn and his boys did not manage to finish off the uh, the guard squad here, so they're still stuck in. 
which is uh, unfortunate for Chaos. That's not where he wants to be right now. We're going to go into the bottom of four and see what else Chaos can do. Bottom of four, Chaos is, uh, is doing its best to push the, uh, the guard off the table completely. Raptors assault into the Chimera here, blow it up, and the veterans pile out of the back. Over here, the Terminators assault the Chimera, blow it up in combat, and lose one to the explosion. Karn predictably finishes off the last of his uh, of the guardsmen he was facing. The Commissar uh, dies to a Balefire shot from the, uh, um, the Heldrake, who also vector strike the, uh, the Chimera over here, ripped off the last two hull points on it. Uh, and then we see Skulltaker and his Bloodletter buddy consolidated up here to grab this objective. And the last two Berserkers uh, are going for that one. So it's actually it's looking very good for Chaos right now. We got two, the guard have two Russes on the hill and a veteran squad sitting right here, and that's about it. So we're gonna go to the top of turn five, and things should be going pretty quick from here on out. All right, top of five. Uh, see the guard striking back a little bit. The vulture comes back on the, uh, the table after flying off last turn and wipes out the berserkers. So they are no longer gonna contest that objective or hold it. Uh, we have the raptors here taking a lot of shots from the veteran squad here. They were stunned getting out of the, uh, the chimera, but uh, still managed to snap fire and kill a few. And then the battle cannon from the Layman Russ took out a few more. No, the battle cannon missed. Oh, the battle cannon missed? Oh, yeah, so we had other things. Cannon, Laz, cannon Laz cannons took to take him out. Okay. Uh, Terminators uh, weathered the shots from the uh, Executioner just fine. That's it. And that's it. We're going to move into the bottom of five. It's probably going to be the last turn. It is almost 10 o'clock, so we got to yeah. wrap this up and get out of here. All right, we're going to call it at the bottom of five, and it's going to be a pretty clear victory for Chaos. Um, the uh, Heldrake zoomed over the, uh, the Vulture and uh, failed to do anything with its... Uh, Vector strike, but torched a whole bunch of the guard uh, holding that objective, knocking oh, them off it. The, uh, uh, the Raptors jumped over so they could also be holding the objective because they are fast attack and therefore a scoring unit this time. Um, and again, whittled down some more of the guard. Karn uh, charged through the, the defense line and tore apart a layman Russ all by himself. Uh, the Terminators and the Raptors actually rolled miserably on their charge ranges. Uh, and then Skulltaker and his one lone bloodletter are hiding behind the building and holding that objective. So actually we have Chaos uh, controlling one, two, and the cultists chilling back here holding the third objective. Uh, they forgot to do the random points, but that's not really going to matter because uh, Chaos holding three objectives plus first blood plus line breaker uh, and killing one of the gunships, getting for another point for fast attack. Um, it's a pretty lopsided victory for Chaos. Um, they were able to weather the fire the first couple turns, though, and uh, once the reserves started coming on, able to push back against the, the Imperial Guard. Heldrake. Very cool game. Held, yeah, definitely Heldrake model the match. Took out a uh, whole lot of points all by himself. Uh, he got the bonus victory point for killing the, the, the Vendetta. He got the victory point for killing the Commissar. Did a lot of damage. Uh, routed uh, one squad and uh, took another one down to... Uh, the point where they weren't able to hold an objective. A very, uh, very effective model. Uh, stay tuned for more, more information on Food Hammer. It's coming up, uh, uh, not this Sunday, but the following Sunday, November 3rd. Uh, we're going to ha hopefully have some, uh, some preview videos of the prizes. I'm going to try to get over to Muggins' house and, and just show you guys uh, the mountain of stuff we have to give away on that day. So again, thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for more from Fresh Coast 40K.